Hello everyone, this tutorial comes courtesy of the developphp.com forums where techguy1127 asks anyone want to try to take a stab at a dynamic bar graph which will load with data from a database? And then I responded with, I will, that sounds like fun. So that's what I've done here and that's what you'll be learning in this tutorial which is a free downloadable source file package that has a flash file in it uh, that you can open in CS3 or CS4 or CS5 and it'll also have a PHP file in it that does the communication to the MySQL database. Okay, here's the finished product of what you'll be learning how to create in this Flash and Action Script 3 PHP and MySQL dynamic bar graph tutorial. And this is just the very basics for you people who would like to get started in understanding how to create dynamic bar graphs using PHP and MySQL information or PHP and XML information or PHP and text file information whatever dynamic information that you want to access on your server at runtime okay so now let's publish it out and if you publish it out you might think it doesn't work because it says undefined and some weird looking variable here that's not a number that's because it's on your local machine still once you throw it online where it can access your MySQL database in PHP for those of you who don't have a a server scenario on your local machine where PHP and MySQL can run you gotta put it online so let's see what it looks like online the actual running application you see there it pulls in Joe's experience level Joe's experience level in the database is 72 so the bar grows to 72 pixels wide and that number 72 gets planted right on the end of the bar so if Joe's experience level was 150 that number 150 would still be sitting that many pixels off to the right of the bar so this little text field is made it's set up in such a way where it moves along with the bar okay so now let's discuss the files that you will get when you download the free source package from developphp.com the first thing you have to do is make sure you have a storage mechanism set up we're going to be using MySQL in this example so I made a quick little demonstration table just for this tutorial and it has three fields in it ID field which is auto increment set to primary the username field and the experience field the username has a var char type and the experience field has an integer type so that's really all you need to know and I'm gonna insert some new data here because my table is empty so this ID I'm gonna leave empty this ID is gonna be empty and they're gonna be auto incremented so this one will get an ID of 1 by default this one will get an ID of 2 by default now this username I'm gonna make Joe and then this one Sally so mine's just gonna have two users your database could have 10,000 users whatever Sally's experience level is going to be 56 Joe's experience level is going to be 72 press go and now I've got some data in my database I'm gonna browse it and there's the, the structure of my database with the data included in everything so we just have ID username experience and we're gonna take this experience these experience numbers and we're gonna be sending them into the flash okay now let's take a look at the flash file And all you have to do is when you download the package you click on this movie clip here on scene one and you'll see it has an instance name of my graph app in the library so in the library you see my graph app right there and that's this whole movie clip you double click inside of it you'll see three layers on the top layer we have action script 3 and that's where all the code is if you press F9 you'll see all the code and you can manipulate it and then you'll see dynamic elements layer and then cosmetic elements layer cosmetic elements is just things that are non-dynamic that make the flash file look the way it does dynamic elements are the things that are going to be manipulated by the code by the script so we have a dynamic text field here with an instance name of graph title underscore txt and we have another dynamic text field here that's an instance named xp underscore txt for short for experience and then we have the bar the dynamic bar is just a simple rectangle that's made into a movie clip and I'll show you how I made that right now because I know a lot of people will have trouble with the registration point here I'm gonna take a rectangle primitive I'm gonna drag it to stage it can be anywhere we want any size we want when we initially drag it out and I'm gonna put it at 
24 pixels X coordinate and that's important for the the flash uh, action script because that XP underscore TXT here let's make this not so wide let's just make it two pixels wide yeah let's make it 16 pixels high now let's right click that convert it to symbol and let's we can name it whatever we want in the library let's name it poo poo make sure the registration is top left so the bar, the bar is sure to grow from the left to right okay or you can have your registration here in the center as long as it's on the left just press OK and then we just instance name this rect because you'll see in the code that the code is looking to manipulate an item called rect it has an instance name of rect short for rectangle okay so that's how you create your bars and you set up the registration point to make sure it grows in the way in the direction that you want it to grow now all we have to do is check out the script and I've commented all the code out so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time here but basically this is the the code I snatched up from our develop PHP has a whole bunch of flash lessons and in the flash section the flash video tutorial section there's a whole section dedicated to working with PHP and MySQL I just snatched up the the basic two-way flash PHP communication code and I altered it a little bit to do what we wanted here so if you need really good insight onto how that works you can go and check out that tutorial there at developphp.com but in the function complete handler here what we're doing is we're setting a couple of variables from the information that PHP sends back to flash because flash sends out a request right here and so once flash action script 3 gets that data back from PHP we set a couple of variables using that dynamic data that's coming back from flash there's one variable called user the other variable is called XP and the XP is the number that flash is bringing back for that little graph bar so we have the graph title dot text or underscore text and that's this one here so graph underscore dot t graph title underscore txt dot text is equal to the user name coming back from PHP which in this case is Joe apostrophe s so it says Joe's experience level in that field now the rectangle that little green thing we just created there is set in the code to have a dynamic width of whatever XP number is coming back from PHP and then the XP text which is this little guy here that always sits off to the right of that bar no matter how big it is is set to have an X position of the rect dot width so whatever the rectangle width is plus 24 pixels and the reason why I put plus 24 is because if you click on this you can see its X position is 24 off the edge of the flash file here right off the edge of the SWF it's sitting 24 pixels in so I added that little bit of math to make it sync up right off to the right of the neck of the experience bar then we just put the value into that text field XP underscore txt dot text is equal to the XP number and you already saw that here so you can see how it's rendering in that dynamic information for us and extending the bar to be what it needs and basically that's the whole flash file that's everything you really need to know about that so now let's look at the PHP file alrighty this is the PHP file that flash calls out to for data at runtime and you can see we have a PHP tag opening and closing here and the first thing that happens inside of that file is that we access the username that's being posted from flash because from the flash file you'll see here it's posting the username of Joe and that can be dynamically sent in I just statically wrote it in there but you can access it from any information you need that the flash file already has so what we do is we access that posted variable of username so basically this variable is set to have a value of whatever is being posted from flash so we use that in our database query down here and this would be my table name was stuff I'm just gonna write in your table 
Okay, so here you connect to your MySQL database, which there's all kind of tutorials on for that. If you have any trouble connecting to your MySQL database, you just consult your hosting accounts help panel, and in the help section, you can find out how to properly query your database for your server. And the next line is an SQL query. And we run a MySQL query that says select experience field from your table, whatever the name is, where username equals Joe, or this user's username. Limit one, because you only want one result from this query. Then we set up the little while loop that accesses the MySQL fetch array, and we can put the row variable on that, and we can access each array field. We can access each field in the array by saying row and that field's name here. So row experience for this user who whatever username is sent in is put into this variable here called XP number. Now outside of that loop all we have to do is echo that data back to Flash. So we echo user equals username which in my scenario it's not even necessary to put the username back into Flash because Flash already sent the username to PHP so Flash already knows what the username is but just for example's sake I wanted to show you how to send multiple variables back into Flash. So we send the username and XP is equal to XP number. So you'll notice in Flash it's looking for a variable coming back from PHP called XP and that's the number that we attained in the experience field there. Then we just run MySQL close function there to close up the connection that we made to the database since this script is done running. And that's it for the PHP file. So you'll have PHP file, you'll have your MySQL database, and you'll also have this Flash file. So it's those three things are in the mix in this tutorial. And this kind of programming is, it's very handy to know this kind of programming because you can do a lot more in your Flash applications than the normal Flash user. The normal Flash user is stuck with static, undynamic items. You know, you can have all kind of dynamics at play if you understand how to talk to MySQL and PHP through Flash, from Flash. Okay, and uh, don't forget that these files will be available free for download from developphp.com. All you gotta do is go and snatch them up, play around, expand upon it and hopefully you can be making some pretty badass bar graphs in Flash ActionScript 3.